Quadrilateral MATH has both pairs of opposite sides congruent and parallel. Which statement about quadrilateral MATH is always true? So one of the properties that makes a quadrilateral a parallelogram is the very fact that, um, that we have both pairs or that we have at least one pair of sides being congruent and parallel. Here we have both pairs. So therefore MATH must be a parallelogram then. So let me draw that out. So this is indeed a parallelogram. Opposite sides are congruent and parallel. So let's go through the options there. It says MT is congruent to AH. MT is congruent to AH. So what Option one is alluding to is that the diagonals are congruent, and in a parallelogram, the diagonals do not have to be congruent, so that's not it. MT is con uh, is perpendicular to AH. Diagonals do not have to be perpendicular either. Um, when M when the diagonals are perpendicular in a parallelogram, that would make the parallelogram a rhombus. If the diagonals are congruent, then that would make the parallelogram a rectangle. Uh, angle MHT, MHT is congruent to ATH. So consecutive angles do not have to be congruent. So again, MHT and ATH, they instead are supposed to be supplementary. Well, that's because the opposite sides are parallel and um, the side then cuts through the parallel, um, the two parallel lines forming two consecutive angles and consecutive angles are supposed to be supplementary. They're not, uh, they don't have to be congruent. That leaves us with option four, angle MAT is congruent to MHT. Opposite angles are indeed supposed to be congruent. So yes, that does work, that's option four.